Hi guys, welcome to New York Cooking. It's springtime now, the weather is getting so much sunnier and that means we'll be pushing all of our grill stations out and it's time for grill recipes. So today we are preparing ikan baka or translated to English it is called grilled fish. The Malaysian grilled fish is known to be very fragrant and delicious spicy too because of all the fresh ingredients that we are using. Now let's check out the ingredients. We can use any type of fish for this recipe but for me grilled fish has to be ikan pari or also known as stingray. Now stingray is really very difficult to find this in Germany but I managed to find it thankfully. Uh, we'll need some sugar, salt, turmeric powder, tamarind juice and this will be the ingredients to blend. We'll begin with lemongrass, shallots, chilies, few pips of garlic, galangal and shrimp paste and this is the type that we are looking for. It's hard, remember to toast it before using it to get the fragrance from the shrimp paste. Just to go with this dish, we'll add a bit of calamansi juice or lime juice. If you can't find lime, lemon juice will be the next substitute and uh, just to add some fragrance, we'll be also using some fresh banana leaves. You can find this at the Asian grocer, they'll usually sell it uh, fresh or frozen, whichever you can find. It's Okay, so now let's begin to cook. We will begin with blending the ingredients first. So in goes the lemongrass, shallots, garlic, galangal, and the chilies. To ease the blending process as usual, add a bit of water, not too much. Everything is blended now, I'm going to add the turmeric powder into the blended ingredients. Then just give it a quick stir. With every chilli paste, we'll need to cook it until it's fragrant. So I have a pan with a bit of oil. I'm going to add the shrimp paste too. You do not need to cook too long once the fragrance comes out, it's already exposed. And I'm just going to add a bit of tamarind juice and this will add some sourness to the dish and also about one tablespoon of water. It smells really good already. We are going to add now sugar and salt. We have the chili paste ready and I'm going to leave it aside for it to cool down and then marinate this with the um, stingray. We're going to marinate this fish for a few minutes, about 10 minutes or so that will do. So here I have the paste is cooled down to room temperature and fish is here. So we are going to just spread it. The objective is just to ensure that the chili paste is uh, really wrapping this fish so that we get the fragrance as in the taste of the ingredients when we grill a fish. As I'm looking at a stingray, it reminds me of uh, my journey to searching for stingray in Germany because when I gave a Google on it, uh, trying to look for places where they would sell stingray, I only got um, pet shops as a result so it seems that people in Germany they keep stingray as pets I'm not too sure but tell me if you have tried stingray do you like it or not tell me in the comment section below or else what do you like to have with uh, grilled fish as grilled fish the last step to grill I'm so excited um, as I mentioned earlier I have the banana leaves ready I'm going to place it onto the darker shade of uh, the banana leaf at the back it's slightly um, light in color and we want this part because this is the more fragrant part and just to ensure that we have a bit more fragrance I have here a bit of oil infused with some um, lemongrass so I've cut crushed the lemongrass just like the satay recipe by the way you have to check out the satay recipe and just click over here to check that out it's really good many have tried it so delicious but now today back to the grilled fish so I have the banana leaf here I'm just going to glaze this with a bit of oil first 
I'm just using a non-stick pan. If you like, you can also grill this on your grill station with some uh, charcoal and that will really bring up this smoky smell to your grill fish that is also superb. But for now, I'm just using grill pan, a grill pan in my kitchen, which works fine too. When the sides are curling up, then I'm going to flip it over. As for other fishes, it's just very easy. Once you smell it, you know, and when it's getting fragrant, you can always flip it. Do not worry if it's not fully cooked because you can always flip it over again. So now let's begin. Just going to put a bit of oil. Cover this. As you can see, this is slightly curled up. Just cover this apart and then carefully, I'm going to flip it over. I don't know if you realize I'm so excited because it smells just like home and um, since now I've already flipped both fishes I'm just going to cow it for about three to four minutes and then we'll see how it's like if it's slightly burnt you know as uh, the, the banana leaves are slightly burnt and then we can just flip it over and have the same thing again so to ensure that the fishes will be fully cooked it's now ready have a look at the leaf as you can see, it is slightly burned. Look at the beauty of this fish. So as you can imagine, the banana leaves aroma would then be infused in the fish. Oh god, I can't wait to try this. So I'm just going to flip it another time. So it's done now, I'm going to transfer it to the plate. The dish is now ready, I can't wait to try it. It's usually served with rice and that's what I'm going to do today. And let's now first try the fish. Mm. I'm a happy girl. This is so awesome. The sauce that I prepared goes really well with this fish and if you like you can also do the sambal belacan which I've already had a recipe here so click over here if you want to check out the recipe it works really well with grilled fish as well so guys I'm going to try it now without any sauce just to tell you how it's going to taste like mm. I just love stingray it's smooth along with the ingredients or the spices that we had just puts everything up so delicious guys you have to try this recipe and once you've tried it remember send me photos on instagram google plus facebook or even twitter and remember to hashtag nyonya cooking because i can't wait to see your photos till then i hope that you're subscribed to nyonya cooking and they'll bring you more simple recipes asian cuisine that you love so Happy cooking!